Hey there, today I'm super excited to share an awesome review of a fantastic asset called Flora. This tool basically lets you paint prefabs on any mesh or train, enhancing your scenes with an efficient, scalable vegetation system. The best part, it won't slow down your performance. Flora is optimized to handle vast amounts of vegetation. What's really cool about Flora is that it can work with any static mesh, opening up a whole new world for designing environments in Unity. Plus, it supports all render pipelines. With features like instance tracking, custom attributes, multimodal support, auto shader, intuitive tools, placement settings, directional shadow calling and more, Flora lets you render millions of instances. Thanks to the creator, I can explore the assets and show you how it works. I start by importing Flora. If the Flora install wizard window doesn't pop up, you can open it by going to the Flora tab and installing wizard. Be sure to check the update button uh, to complete the installation. And also import the sample. If you run into an error, we can fix it simply. I'm sure the developer will fix it in updates, uh, but uh, for now you can go to this line and change it as I did. Flora is installed in the package folder. And the samples are in the assets folder. Let's first overview the example scene and Flora in detail. The painted vegetation looks stunning. In the main camera, the Flora camera component is attached. The disable rendering will disable the Flora rendering. The minimum screen lets us control the size of screen size for rendering an instance. And also we can control the Flora LOD bias if we enable it. And the scene is filled up by lights and uh, post processing and some meshes and also the train with uh, 512 width and 512 height. The most important thing is the flora container which will control the instances. Also the document explains everything in detail. When you click on the flora container two panels are open in the scene view. You can drag them and create your layer. We will check all of these buttons. Grid size in general, set the size of the grid used to store and calculate the instance cells. Is important as it can greatly impact calling performance. It's a recommend to leave it at the default value as the creator suggests. Note that once the Flora prototype has been added to the container, this value can't be modified. The density scale determines the density of flora instances. Also, we have three buttons for showing the bounds, colliders, and cells, and the debug window, which will open a separate debug window for flora rendering, providing deeper insight into the flora system's operations. A static game objects only restrict painting operations to only target the static game objects in the scene. After that, the prototype list will display all available Flora prototypes within the system. You can add or remove them or enable them to edit and paint. For example, let's edit Flowers prototype. Model prefab is the mesh and LOD mesh. A spawn prefab instances will spawn the prefab at the location of each instance. Super helpful when you need to remove or make changes to an instance, like a, a chopping tree. Use custom attributes to apply effects like color. Access the attributes easily within shader graph. Modify this property unless spawn prefab instances is enabled. It adjusts how Flora instances respond to the scene density. Call shadows separately, if true, shadows will be called in a separate calling pass. Will impact performance if enabled. Max render distance and start fade distance 
define how the maximum distance flora instances are visible and when the instance fade parameter starts. Toggle to enable the calculation of lighting data for each flora instance if there are baked light props in the scene. Other parameters are for placement like density or radius, position and rotation and scale which are similar to the train painting but with more features and are easy to implement. So now select the brush tool which will paint and uh, erase tool will delete instances and the fill tool allows for a more aggressive placement of instances. The reapply tool allows users to update the properties of Flora instances uh, based on the current settings in the toolbar without erasing and repainting. Super helpful to change the instances fast and easily. If we hold the mouse on the train, we can see a spur and if we click, the instance appears. We can change the brush mode to circle or single. The Raycast Layer Mask tool allows users to select the specific layers that the brush will consider when placing flora instances. It can be train, uh, mesh, or both. A slider to adjust the radius and density of the brush, determining the size of the affected area and controlling the target density of the flora instances being placed. Painting on mesh makes your level design gorgeous and even the instance tracking makes instance stay with the objects they were placed on. As you can see when I change the rotation of this object, the instance will change too. Flora can support the multimodal, paint multiple types of instances at the same time. Also under the name of each prototype, the counts of instances that have been used are shown to us. This example scene has 1.25 million instances. Let's see the performance. Open the rendering debugger, capture data on render commands, total instances, visible instances and more. And in memory we can see the GPU stats. And disable calling or force the LOD or draw distance. Be sure to check all of them individually to see how each one works. Let's create a flora from a scratch. First of all, create a flora container. Down in the prototype list, we can add pre-made prototypes or create our own by right-clicking in the project window and selecting flora and flora prototype. And then we can adjust the prefab we want.
After adjusting values, start painting on the ground. Each instance can be clear, replaced or even deactivated. And anytime you want you can change the prefab of each prototype. Bunch of features I couldn't cover in this review like uh, auto shader or shader graph flora setup uh, This was review so it's enough for today Thanks for watching be sure to check other tips and tutorials and have a great day